All right, and welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. Hawkeye decided to join us there for just a little bit, but now he's gone. Um, we got Soul Tide Control up here. So we did. We struggled with Grixis. We struggled with the aggro decks. Um, my deck wasn't really tuned for the aggro decks as much. I had a lot of stuff in the sideboard, but you know they just didn't go our way. We had a lot of close games, but we weren't winning them. We're going to try switching out the red for some green here and see how it does. The biggest thing the green adds, of course, is one of the best finishers in standard, especially for a control deck. Whenever you want to play a longer game and you have like a lot of mana in the late game, Hydrocrasis is perfect for that. So we got Hydrocrasis here. We got some growth spirals to help make us a little faster um, and, you know, speed up our deck, get to like these four, four mana cards on a turn earlier and then of course we have tamio for our planeswalkers here um you know tamio can help us dig for hydro crisis or whatever other spell we need if we need like enter the god eternals against aggro or anything like that the plus one can help us dig there or we can minus and return any of those spells you know if we have a crisis or an enter the god eternals or you know whatever in our graveyard we can bring it back tamio is just really strong and we have some casualties of war it's a card that i've been wanting to to try out wanting to play in a soul tie control deck and so pretty excited to to play this you know it can just destroy all sorts of different things and so we'll see how impressive this card is see if we get to do anything really awesome with it um and that's what we got you know sideboard i'm kind of going with like normal blue black stuff i wish there was a better option for an enchantment removal spell that's good against red i think thrashing brontodon is about the best thing but i don't think i want thrashing brontodon against um, against uh, Nexus. It's just really slow. Like, having to spend four mana on it. I don't know. But, you know, I basically, you know, worried about um, Experimental Frenzy. It's like, we'll have, like, our casualties of war, they'll destroy Frenzy, but is that going to be enough? Uh, I guess we're going to kind of see. We're going to kind of see. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, Kefnet, Kefnet plus Casualties is going to be awesome. Just joined. What happened with Grixis? Yeah, we we just lost to Mono Red twice. Uh, couldn't really deal with Frenzy at all, and we did, and we lost to Mono White as well. Um, Mono White had a really awesome hand the second game, and they had the first game. They just had a couple tappers to keep tapping my blockers. The second game, they just got to throw out a bunch of threats and then spell pierce my ritual of soot and kill me. But let's see how Sultai does. Domri, Chandra, and Sarkin. Well, I guess I'm going to take the Domri. I don't know. Domri just adds mana. What if I take Chandra? And then they play Domri next turn. Then I scorn this thing. All this is just a three mana mana generator. Yeah, I mean, like, Chandra and Sarkin are going to be the two cards that kill me. So I should probably take those. Is Sarkin the scarier one? So Sarkin's scarier than Chandra. Um, yeah, I could see that. We'll take Sarkin. The problem with taking Sarkin over Chandra is that <clears throat> even if we kill Land we're off here, if they draw a land, then they get to play the Chandra. Where, like, one land, they wouldn't be able to play the Sarkin. But... Um, Sarkin is really scary. Oh, I wish you could 
And that's what happened. They drew the land. Now here's Chandra. Hmm. Would have hit the Thought Erasure for the Sarkin. This is not working out for us. It's a good card. Really? <laughs> Just milled over four lands, now they get to go find gas again? Uh Yeah, this would be one of those Elder Spell times. Oh, have at it, boys. I don't think they had anything in their hand. Like, if they minus seven Chandra here, I'm going to want the Thought Erasure to take stuff. Or no, it just it just exiles the top seven, and then you can play them this turn. Let's light it up. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Yeah, and it deals seven, yeah. I mean I, I can't stop that from dealing seven. But it it's not it's not like draw seven where my thought erasure gets better. They just have the one turn to, to cast stuff. So it could go like double spellbreaker fight. Or okay, they'll do Phoenix Spellbreaker. Nope. Phoenix Lanowar Elf. Who are I think this all would have been a whole lot better if I would have taken Chandra instead of Sarkin. You know, it's obviously just, you know, hindsight, but I just top decked the Thought Erasure that would have been able to take Sarkin. This Chandra has just gotten them a million cards. Oh, let the blighters feel the ground. Oh, that's lethal. Even maybe just taking the, the Dom Rain, which has just adds so much mana. I don't know. So we'll have Ritual of Soot for sure. I don't know if I really love Cry of the Carnarium as much. I feel like I need like some more Planeswalker removal. Like, I don't even know if I do anything else. That may just be it. What do you want Canopy to do? Kill a Phoenix? Killing a Phoenix isn't... It's not really worth a card. Unless you exile it.
for vines? Or what, for cinder vines? Oh no. Well, they have cinder vines, whatever. That's not a card I'm sideboarding for. Double Dire Fleet Daredevil. So they need four mana to Daredevil plus Thought Erasure. Me. Right now, all I want to do is just hit land drops. That's not a land drop. Card's really good. Dang. All right, here comes Thought Erasure. Even cry the Carnarium in because of all their mana creatures and stuff. I know they'd be like this Planeswalker heavy with like Vivians and stuff too. So we've seen like multiple Chandras, multiple Vivians, Domri Sarkin so far. I gotta, I gotta take up because of the lightning strike. Seek and um, I think I'll just say Krasis. We got four of those. Good news is Daredevil doesn't do anything anymore. Have anything for this? How this no. thing goes is up to you, pal. You will find my notes helpful. I don't want to give the I don't want to give the contempt to my opponent. I don't want them to be able to daredevil the contempt. Draw at every defeat is a new beginning. No accord. No peace. Come and destroy. I follow the tracks of the wise. Let's destroy the stomping ground and the Vivian. I always survive. You'll see. Casualties of war is pretty sweet. We 
don't answer to other guilds. About wild animals I like. People, not so much. Hmm. I only had a land. Contempt plus sabotage. should be discarded. Let's do this again. All right, good job, Tamio. Uh, nothing disgusts me more than law and order. Uh. Yeah, I guess I could have grabbed a land from the graveyard. They don't have enough mana for that, right? Yeah, they have. Yeah, they're trying to. They don't. Yeah, they don't have the mana for that. Yeah, if. Yeah, we could have grabbed a land and, and then had contempt plus sabotage. But then I'm like having to sabotage the lightning strike. I have learned little here. Or like they have, they have like. So I don't know. Um, all right, so we're definitely flipping this. So we're at three, six, seven. This would be land number eight. So I had Krasis for six. Or just enter plus sabotage. They do have a lot of planeswalkers. So maybe I should have some negates in. So that was a lot of planeswalkers. Yeah, that was even a Tybalt also. The thing is, is I'm like tapping out all the time. It's kind of hard to have the negate up also. Negate does seem pretty good, but what is Negate? What am I taking out? Like, am I just going to take out Cry of the Carnarium and, like, not be able to kill mana creature, like, mana creatures at all? I guess we'll have, like, Tyrant's Corn. I wish I had more Ritual of Soots. This is, like, one match of, like, a green creature deck. I want more Ritual of Soots. Certainly not playing Thief against this deck with, like, Lightning Strikes and, like, this really aggressive deck that's, like, killing me really quickly. I'm, there's no way in... The thief comes in in this matchup at all. Yeah, they had Domri, Vivian, that we saw as far as planeswalkers to kill it. Then they had lightning strike also. Plus, they just kill us really quickly with like spellbreakers. I guess I'm taking out one cry. Maybe just take a sabotage out. It's possible negate's just better than sabotage. Let's do that. We'll just play negate over sabotage. Costs less. Uh, if they have Domri in play, the creatures can't be countered anyway. They had Land War Elf and Paradise Druid in the first game. Why do we ha keep on having these lands of no, nothing but tap lands? What is this? I think they're complaining more than I am though. This doesn't mean that we're gonna win. 
I guess now Tyrant score means we can cast one thing. We could definitely lose this still. Alright, that's... That's a great draw. That gives us our green mana for Grow Spiral and Tamiyo. Yep, that card's good. Get some more lands. Right, well, I guess we'll do this. Alright, do they got fourth land Chandra? Nah, Druid. Land. All right, we'll take that. All right, a lightning strike and a Chandra. All right, now we can play Tamio and look for Contempt. I'm gonna just play Kefnet. Kefnet can block. That's game. Or it'll be basically game. Because if they just want to replay the bird, we just rebounce it. And we have the negate. Alright. There were some good close games. They mulled a four, obviously, that third game, but they still put up a, a good fight. I mean, that's like what Gruul does. They they still put up a good fight from four cards. Definitely a good, respectable hand for the opponent there. Good fight on four cards. Yeah, we lost to Mono Red twice with Grixis. Lost to Mono White as well. Hey, what's up, Alder 2? And then we beat a mid-range deck, and I don't remember what our other loss to was to right now. Just always tap lands. I think from like playing those games with Grixis control. Oh yeah, we we lost like a control mirror or something. But we lost to to a Soul Tide deck. That's right. Um, I think I'm kind of off just like keeping two tap lands as Kanta. I did that a couple of times before and it just never worked out. And don't think we're gonna do that anymore. I think I learned my lesson. Um, I don't know how I deal with these Oketras, really. I gotta kill this Incubation Druid. So they only have one white source. This does get me to Casualties of War faster.
It's a bad, yeah, it's a bad matchup. Uh, we played a lot of close games, but if they just, like, land Experimental Frenzy, it's kind of over. That That's the real problem card. Hmm. Hmm. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. I don't know how I'm going to deal with these Oketras, honestly. I haven't figured that out yet. Seriously? I don't have Ritual Sows in my main deck, do I? No. I can't beat Oketra. Do I need Unmore to Ego for Oketra? Is that how desperate I am? I can't beat that card. Not you. You. I think I may be that desperate. I don't know, so we have Thought Erasure, Sinister Sabotage? If we... Ketra gonna be really tough to beat. See if we can get cards to line up a little better for us. All right, we got a shock land. Get out of here. That's a good card. Hey, what's up, Punk Boy RD? Thanks for that resub there. Yeah, when Oketra resolves, it's really good. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Strike now! Strike hard! Uh, it is easy to get. It is easily countered, but when it resolves, it's it's awesome. There is wonder in a blade of grass.
considering I have like you know another six mana card to play next turn. I don't really want to just not do anything this turn at all. Besides like a tyrant scorn, possibly. Have you ever lost a home? Alright, so that thing, obviously we can't casualties of war everything with that in play, so we'll enter the God Eternals here. Hey, thanks, Unguided Nun. Give the great streams. Peace be the journey. When it will be the next time with Gruel Dinos? Good question. Not sure. We did really well with that Gruel Dinos the last time we played it. That's a Joyv special. That's Joy's deck. Loves, uh, or like, he'll, uh, um, usually donate for that one. So we could not mill our opponent with the Enter the Guy Eternals. We had to mill ourselves to get rid of a Crisis and a Contempt. It's a little un unfortunate. Starting over is the only way. Show remorse. I'll show restraint. Don't worry. I got this. I guess I just say Sinister Sabotage, because we know that's on top. It doesn't do anything with Teferi, though, of course. But we can kill Teferi, like, the next turn. Alright, the other cards weren't any good anyway. Now we're playing the gates deck after this. We're playing five matches here. You fight like a city brat. Let's try this. I think they vigilance the wrong creature. I think they did the deputy instead of the land war elf. Yes, yeah, so oh, now they didn't attack with land war elf. Hey, Lee the Panther supporting with Harry's. Let's get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much, Lee. Getting that second Harry's? Dude, it's such a great deal. So I'm going to kill... Hmm. A lot of things. I guess... Land War Elf, White, Green, and Vivian. Cool, got a family member involved? Awesome. Yeah, the Harry's deal is you can get a one of their Razor starter sets for just $3 with free shipping. All right, and that's game. I'll be back, just like before. Through the referral link there, and using coupon code Todd Stevens MTG. Yep, that's game. Hmm. The storied past holds our future. Yeah, Lee the Panther, you do, did two Harrys. You can get a donation deck. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds good to me. 
I've got it. Yeah, so you can get it. Yeah. So if somebody wants to do two separate Harry's purchases. And so that's only six dollars. And get a donation deck that usually costs twenty. Yeah, I'm I'm for that because usually I, I knock off ten dollars off a donation deck for doing that Harry's. All stories must end. Yeah, you can schedule anytime, whenever you want. Alright, one on one. I do not have a very good plan for Oketra right now. You know, maybe just need a lot more ritual of sets or something, or I don't I don't know. Do not have a good plan for Oketra at all. With this deck. Casualties of War did look really good, though. That card was awesome. All right, two mana. Both tap lands. That's a mulligan. We have learned our lesson today. Did that too many times with Grixis, keeping two lands, both tap lands. We're going to ship that back. So a reminder, we got the sub battle stream tomorrow. So normal stream time, three to ten uh, Eastern time, we're going to be doing where I play against subscribers. It's a whole lot of fun. Um, chat rallies together. They have team chat against me. Um, so even if you're not a subscriber, hope you stop on by for that. It's it's a lot of fun. And so I play a different deck every single round. I have a wheel that I spin for what deck and. The subscribers bring different decks and everything. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, make them discard it with Thought Erasure. That would... I mean, if it actually lines up, that would work. But as we saw, like, that game, they just found it at a different time. It doesn't, it doesn't always work. All right, looking for Cry of the Carnarium. We got two of them here in the main deck. Man, I do need a fifth land. For Enter the God Eternals. So if I ditch this. I mean, is that too. So let's, let's see. Next turn, I play my fourth land. They hit me for. Yeah, actually, I'm. No, we gotta get rid of it. We're not gonna survive till Enter the God Eternals. I mean, maybe we can't. So I can play like the Krasis, but no, that Krasis doesn't save me, does it? Nope, definitely doesn't now. Then being able to bounce Krasis with the fairy. This might be a bad idea. I'm starting to think that. With all these aggro decks that we're facing, I'm starting to think Cry the Carnarium Ritual of Sid are just really important. Like, maybe I should go back to, like, the old old school Grixis discard with a whole lot of sweepers and, um, 
and disinformation campaign and sweepers, maybe that's the way to go. It seems like we just need sweepers all the time. This card has like never been better than what it is right now with how much mono red and mono white there is. I should probably, probably play Negate or Duress over... I should play Negate or Duress over the Sinister Sabotage. <laughs> of course, we drew Sabotage there. Yeah, Ritual sits really a lot better against green decks than it is against red or white. For the most part. What do you think about playing humans in modern? Um, don't have the caverns or the high arcs. I think humans is still probably pretty good. I haven't haven't seen it recently too much, but uh, because I haven't seen modern, not because I haven't seen the deck, but I just haven't I haven't really been paying too close attention to modern. But I I bet it's still probably pretty good. All right, well, Sabotage was a whole lot better. A whole lot better than Negator Dress would have been. Getting rid of that elephant. Yeah, I like that widespread brutality. I was I was definitely impressed with that card. Yeah, we could have had double Scorn. It just Scorn's just you know like a little one for one trade. Um, we have Krasis. I just wanted we had Krasis and Enter the God Eternals. So like with those two cards, I just want to draw lands and be able to get to them because they're just so powerful. All right, on the draw, we're going Duress. That being blue-white, they likely have, like, counter magic also that they're bringing in. And Duress can still snipe History of Benalia, Teferi, um, Legion's Landing. I don't know why they'd have Legion's Landing still in their hand, but Conclave Tribunal. All right, next turn I can grow Spiral plus Duress, and then hopefully cry the next turn. Hopefully we find a black source in our next uh, three draws. Black source. I could use some Chipotle right now. <laughs> I 
Hey, Duress can snipe some stuff. All right, black source, black source. Come on, black source. One time. Ugh. What a terrible one time. Teferi doesn't really do anything. History Banalia would have made like some more creatures that would have been a problem. All right, this is our last chance. Come on, deck. All right, we're still in it. We're still in there. Here we go. Hmm. I'm gonna play the Krasis. So, like, if I play Kefnet. They just, like, definitely bounce the Kefnet with T Teferi, right? Like, that's just, like, what they do. And it's just a really easy play, and I don't I don't get ahead at all. It just doesn't, doesn't really help me. But, like, I play the Krasis. It's like, what is my opponent supposed to do? Are they supposed to bounce the Krasis, then I get it back? And so I get to gain a life, draw a card, basically keep them from bouncing it. Unbounceable. All right, now I'll go Thought Erasure, Kefnet. Actually, let's go Tamio. Enough. I would like to ask about the Luna Anomaly to the library. Cry. Oh, we hit one. What a surprise. Surveil plus Tamio's tick up is really nice. Makes Tamio's tick up even better. Yeah, I should, I should attack first for extra damage. The past is never forgotten. Yeah, I missed out on two points of damage. I don't think that two points matters. And it was easier to click stuff instead of like clicking through attacks and then doing everything. It was easier. All right, Cry the Carnarium is awesome. That's why we got two Cry main, one Cry board. It's possible we need to get all four Cry of the Carnariums up in here. Memorial to Genius. 
Well, my hand looks really bad against Memorial to Genius. Hmm. That was unexpected. I think Nissa's good in a control deck in general. Yeah, being able to... Like, the minus three in a control deck when you have so many different cards that are, you know, like, answers and everything. And so you can pick out, like, whichever answer that you need is awesome. And then plus the... Also the plus one of, like, finding whatever answer. And then that top ability is certainly not nothing. Resolve. Hooray. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Not so fast. Dang. That's bad news. We're not going to be able to casualties of war next turn. Keep up the pace. All right, so this is Esper Control with Memorial with multiple memorials. Unfortunately, both casualties of war are in our hand, so you don't get to reveal them off of a Kefnet. cast the casualties next turn so they need to be able to kill the crisis to protect the teferi and counter the casualties of war with their six mana because they get free mana because of teferi it's really not too difficult you know just basically any counter spell We look very dead. <clears throat> Activating Teferi too many times. I'm going to try the Egos here. Let's try them. I don't want these Cries or Scorns or God Eternals. So that leaves us with like 62 here. So I could not play the egos, or I could like not play the casualties. Doesn't not playing casualty doesn't give me much removal. I think I kind of want to just take take Teferi out. 
<clears throat> give it a try. I do like Unmoored Ego more when you have Tamiyo that you, you can like see their deck and everything and like rebuy it back and like really like against these control decks you can like that's a it's a really nice combo. Yeah, maybe I'll just take this thing out. It costs a lot of mana. Yeah, casualties does kind of feel like a pipe dream here, doesn't it? Let's take it out. <laughs> it's never gonna resolve. They have, like main deck duress also to go with all the thought erasures and stuff. Too expensive. All right, on the play, thought erasure into Thief of Sanity has been winning games since '98. Let's see if it keeps winning games here. <laughs> yep, this is Sultai Control. No, Thief was in my sideboard, so no, they didn't see it, because this is, this is not in my main deck. <laughs> we are not going Duress, Erasure, Thief. Uh, they will not re reprint Teferi and M20. That will not be a thing. Dang, they have a lot of removal. It's unfortunate, all that removal. So it's all tap lands, though. I could try Slam and Thief. Found a shock land. Now you. they got a million cards. Really hope we draw land here and I get to Thought Erasure plus Thief. All right. before action. So we'll see what we get. Likely just going to, because both these are going to be at three loyalty. Jeez, Eldest Reborn. Man, they are crushing it over there. Hopefully they'll have something good for me here. Um, oh, right, uh, sorry, I'm late. Just worried about like what the fairy's doing. So I can't even minus that to fairy to draw a card. But at least that Teferi will just eat the Eldritch Reborn, so the Thief doesn't.
Yeah, I guess I just need to contempt. I don't even know what's contempt over there. You know if I Trust me, I have a plan. Contempt the Narset. I guess. I just the trick for this. Or just play the Kefnet. Yeah, nothing really felt good that turn, but that my play was definitely not the the best. They've really, they've really just filtered through their draws very well. Everything of like what I've hoped they haven't had, they've had, and all of these. How do I beat Absorb Syncopate? Jeez. Well, the first one's going to get the five mana to Fairy, and the second one we can't beat either. I don't have enchantment removal in my deck right now because we took out the casualties of war. So we do not have a chance here. Vesper is still really, really good. And it doesn't look like from how you know playing these playing these four games so far, you're know, like this is a new deck I just put together today because I wanted to try to like casualties of war and stuff. Um, I only played one one game with this one off stream because I was working on my Grixis and Gruel there. Um, doesn't really look like we're doing anything better than what Esper's doing. Esper has all the tools for just really everything. It has like the best anti-aggro stuff, the best anti-control stuff. Um, Let's slow you know, Teferi, down. Dovin's Veto. I'll they got the best anti-control than, than aggro. You know, they got all the life gain stuff with Othakaya. Um, you know, they, they have the enchantment removal of Mortify. They got Kaya's Wrath, the best four mana Wrath. It's Esper just has everything. Don't worry, I got this. This is hardly my worst defeat. I'm pretty surprised they didn't bounce the Ascanta. I'm glad they didn't. I'm definitely surprised they didn't. But if you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Hmm. So open for this Greenland nail this casualties of war here. Well, let's take it back. Don't 
All right, good. Not another Dovin's Veto. More to ferry. Uh, hurry. To ferry is better than Tamio, unfortunately. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Seek and find. Our time together is finished. Yeah, we could have Frilled Mystic instead of Thief in the sideboard. We, if we can actually cast Frilled Mystic, and if our opponent doesn't have a Teferi in play. But like as you see, like this game, we don't have the two green. Frilled Mystic wouldn't have really helped. At least get to destroy this Teferi in a land. Okay, good. Feet. Hopefully no more Teferis. Just a bunch of removal. Yeah, you can't yeah. This Teferi says you can't you can't cast things with flash. You can only cast things sorcery speed. You can't do anything else. I've got it. So instance So like counter spells don't do anything. I was feeling good, and that chemistry's in sight. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Oh, did they just find a thought erasure? Okay, no. Not yet, at least. All right, Aku. Best of luck in modern this weekend. I do love a good death whale. That's more like it. All right, their control deck's a lot better than ours. Unfortunate. But true. Maybe I just need like a whole bunch of like Narsets instead of Thief. I'm going to put one Casualties of War still in here over one of those Growth Spirals. Yeah, they make a zombie. We enter the God Eternals of the zombie. They get to draw a card. They get to cast down my zombie token. If it, and then they just keep making more zombies, and I die. I haven't seen... Then bring in Thief in a while. If they bring in Thief, then we'll deal with it then. I 
with them having just Narsets and like all I've seen is like Narsets and Teferis these days from their deck. Alright, so good news is they're missing land drops. It's definitely good news. We're just going to be playing off the top. I can no longer stand by and walk. I'll protect you. Hey, that card doesn't do anything. I've got time. Hold that thought. Let's slow this down. All right, they got They got everything. All right, so our Soul Tide Control deck, while kind of cool in design, looks a whole lot worse than Esper Control. Just Teferis are just a lot better than the cards that we have. Uh, they got good removal. Like they got better sweepers, better removal, better planeswalkers. We don't have anything that's better than what they have except for Krasis. That's it. But like, Krasis is good. Um, yeah, we weren't really close to, weren't very close to winning any of those four games against Esper Control at all, and that's unfortunate. All right, so Sultai Control, pretty cool. Uh, you know, maybe you can win games against other decks, but Esper, Esper is just the best control deck. It really is. It's a lot better than Grixis. It's a lot better than Sultai. It's unfortunate to say, but War of the Spark, uh, just gave Esper everything. Now they just have... Just such good three mana planeswalkers, such good removal. They they really have everything. Oh well. All right, Esper is the best control deck. Um. All right. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck, even though you know we lost there to Esper a couple of times. Um. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it. That's uh, it for Soul Tide Control. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for another video.